I swear the wood pile is almost done. You can see we're just down the last little bit, I think. Hey everybody, J Ball Blue Jays Outdoors. I promise this is not gonna be another wood stacking video. I've already been torturing you guys for the last three videos with that stuff, or four videos. I think it's four videos now. But anyway, so I'm kind of in a little bit of a cleanup mode now. I've actually got um, a couple of the trash cans. I got this 45 gallon trash can. I just broke one, so I'm down, I'm down one. But I got this trash can and that is my ash can. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish just leveling the pile off, but I'm gonna start splitting this stuff and get these cans full because that's what I do is I actually split this wood and then I burn it. It's actually too big to put in the evaporator as is. It does burn, but it doesn't burn as hot. So I'm gonna get as much of this split as I can. I'll show you some of that process. I'm gonna start cleaning this up, but my goal within the next two days is to have all this stuff taken care of. I am gonna have to put some wood in the back, but no big deal, I kind of plan on it. So yeah, hang out with me. Sorry, I almost dropped the phone. Uh, hang out with me and uh, yeah, see what happens. All right, so I just got done showing you guys how fast I can chop wood in time lapse, but I'm going to show you how fast I can do it without time lapse. So, after doing this for five or six years now, you get a lot of practice because I can't tell you how many hours I've done this. I've actually started to wear a groove in this piece of wood um, because of all the times I've hit it. But yeah, let me show you how fast I can actually split this wood. about being efficient so so got more to go not sure if y'all can see this groove or this indent in this piece of wood but yeah I've been uh, I've been splitting a lot of wood on this so at least uh, if I had to guess 15 30 probably close to 45 yards of pallets I've split on this thing so that's why there's that groove in there so let's see some stuff in slow-mo that's always really cool right Okay, so we're gonna take a break here. You guys have been seeing enough of this time lapse and slow motion stuff. And a lot of you might be asking yourself, or maybe not, why in the world am I taking the extra time to cut this this small wood into where is it? like these, these little pieces, okay? Well, there's a thing called a firing cycle, which I'll explain later in the season. And let me take a step back. The, 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 the goal of boiling syrup is to boil as fast as humanly possible. Okay, so if you got a blower fan, whatever, burning pallet wood, 
This is why I burn pallet wood, because I can get the fastest boils possible, which I'll talk about boil rate as well. Don't worry, I'll explain all this stuff to you. But um, if you look at this wood, okay, if I throw this in the firebox stacked like this, there's not a lot of surface area to get inside and in between. So what happens is it actually burns slower. But if I cut this stuff into little pieces, it actually stacks on top of itself and it provides an air gap. So I found that even these smaller pieces, if I just split these one time, like I'll show you, okay? And I throw these pieces in like this and they start to stack, there's more surface area there so you get a hotter boil. So it seems probably a little excessive compulsive or maybe OCD, but after boiling as long as I have, which is not that long in comparison to a lot of people, I've just found that, especially with this small stuff, if I just take the extra time and split it, it actually burns a lot hotter and a lot faster. So that's why I do what I do. There is a little bit of method of the madness. I don't have any scientific proof. I just know that when I do my calculations, my boil rate is a lot faster when I take the time to split this little stuff up. So that's a little bit of a look into the mind of Jay Ball and why he does what he does. Scary, right? As you can see, the only thing that is left are these support pieces, and I'm going to try to split as many as these as I can, finish filling up these two trash barrels, and then I'll show you guys the wood pile, and whatever's left over from here, I'm going to stack in the back, so hang on, we're almost done. Wow, right? So not only do I have to stack all this wood, but actually I split all this wood again. And just like I mentioned earlier, the reason why I do that is because I get a hotter burn if I turn these into these smaller pieces right here, as you guys can see. So trying to get ahead of the game, I've got this one full, I've got that one full, and then I've also got, just to show you guys, doors the, these four are full and so is this with all those little drops so that probably will last me maybe one boil depending on how much sap i get so i try to get a head start because i will literally be cutting wood all season long so just like you guys saw me do here i will hand split every single piece of this wood eventually so I think what I'm gonna do is do a time lapse of me covering this thing up, maybe put a few more pieces on top and just fill some gaps. And we will end this video here. So I'll shoot the exit right now and you guys can watch me cover this thing up. I will put a video of me catching some fish or something up in the right hand corner. So make sure you guys check that out. Really do appreciate all your guys' support sincerely. I, I really am passionate about this and I wanna share with you as much as possible. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Again, my name is Jay Ball, Plugies Outdoors. If you haven't already, please hit this uh, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you know anytime I post a new video, check me out on Instagram. That's blue underscore J underscore maple underscore syrup. I'm also on Facebook as well. That's Blue Jays Outdoors LLC. Remember, check all that stuff out. Appreciate your support. Leave comments. You guys like this stuff. If you guys want to know anything else, let me know. I'd love to share it. So again, remember the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and we will see you next time.